In May, the Federal Reserve published their annual SHED report. It's a report that's basically designed to measure the financial health and decision-making of American households from the year before. So since then, we have been looking at our data to understand um, what new things we can glean basically by putting the two together, what things we can confirm, um, and to get kind of a handle on where we think we're going in 2023. The bottom line of the SHED report this year is that the average American family is financially worse in 2022 than they were in 2021. Um, and unfortunately, I think that's a thing that we can also confirm. Uh, this year, we've seen um, the average American budget deficit has really grown. Uh, in prior years, we saw a budget, a budget deficit, which is the difference between their income and their expenses. Their expenses were about $150 higher than their income. Uh, now we're seeing that has jumped to about $250, about a $100 increase. Um, it's not an, you know, not an insurmountable um, amount. It's something that, that we can very frequently help most consumers get through or find their way around, um, but it is still a ton of financial strain. Uh, another place where we both uh, kind of measure information and that I think is related is uh, really around credit cards. So they measure um, how consumers use credit, their approach to credit. Uh, and one of the things they found, unsurprisingly, is that uh, just about all middle income American households have credit cards. Um, but the real challenging part is that uh, more than half of those households are carrying a balance month to month now. Um, that is very similar to what we're seeing. The number of folks coming to us with credit card debt um, has increased pretty steadily over the past couple of years, continues to increase steadily this year. Um, but on top of that, the real challenge is that they're not just more people coming to us with credit card debt. The amount of credit card debt that they have now has jumped pretty significantly by about 25%. Um, that is a really large jump year over year. Um, but kind of putting the two together, I think the picture that it really paints is we have consumers out there who are carrying this debt and not realizing that that can be a real signal of a problem, an early indicator. Um, and by the time they come to us, that early indicator has really turned into a, a crisis situation. So uh, if you serve consumers or work with consumers who may have credit card debt, helping them understand that credit card debt and find solutions before that credit card debt becomes a crisis is really critical to maintaining their financial health. And so if you are interested in helping your consumers, uh, the consumers that you serve, find ways out of credit card debt, uh, or if you yourself are struggling with credit card debt, you can go to moneymanagement.org uh, to learn more about the options that are available and uh, how we can help consumers together.